We have uh, recently reported our experience uh, with a triplet combination of ixazomib, lanolidomide, and dexamethasone. It is a it is an oral outpatient um, regimen, so that's very much liked by patients. Uh, in our cohort of patients, uh, we found that the responses to um, IRD were quite good, and we achieved a complete or a very good partial response in over half of these relapsed refractory patients. Uh, the tolerance to treatment um, was generally fair. We did not see anywhere any severe adverse events with the treatment. There were some concerns about the renal side effects with lenalidomide, but we didn't particularly note this when using the drug at a low dose. So um, the triplet combination of ixazomib blendex certainly is a valuable uh, regimen for relapsed refractory patients and could potentially be used earlier before the patients become very refractory to therapy. Um, but you also mentioned other combinations, and the, the most interesting combination really is combining daratumumab with standard chemotherapy agents. And there was recently a press release from um, Janssen and Genmab showing the early breakthrough results of the Andromeda clinical trial, which combines daratumumab with cyclophosphamide velcate dex versus cyclophosphamide velcate dex as frontline treatment, um, showing a markedly superior outcome with in the DARA arm, both for overall responses as well as unprecedented organ responses. So I believe that um, in addition to IRD, a dara tumumab based combination, both for newly diagnosed and um, hopefully for a lapsed patient will certainly be um, the way for the future.